What's good, everybody? Welcome to the Fresh Takes Gaming Podcast, episode 50. We are 50 today, guys. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And uh, yeah, if you're the first time here, this is the, we are a video game podcast reporting on the industry news, kerfuffles, debacles, rumors, leaks, upcoming titles, etc. cetera. Uh, if you like what we're doing, hit the follow button. Join us on social media, at Fresh Takes Pod on Twitter, at Fresh Takes Gaming on TikTok. We do a lot of stuff on there. And uh, at Fresh Takes Gaming on YouTube. If you can't make the live show, we upload it to YouTube the following Monday for your face to watch. I'm your host, Evan. Joined with me tonight is my co-host, Nick. How's it going, buddy? Going good. How is everybody tonight? Hope you're doing well, man. You know, stay in the course, brother. Stay in the course. Stay in the course. Right, there you go. Stay in the course. <laughs> um, if it's the first time here, like I said, how we break this down, we have a couple different sections. We have our patch notes section where we talk about the show, what's going on with the show, any upcoming events. And then uh, we kind of go into our normal what we are playing. I know it's kind of generic. Every video game podcast probably does that, but we do it anyway because we like to talk about what we're playing, and we <laughs> hope you do too. Then we will roll into our... Uh, News segment, which we'll talk about some some choice gaming reports across the industry, industry, industry. <laughs> and then the most popular of segments, unpopular opinion. That's what we, we wrap up with every show. One of us will bring an unpopular opinion to the table to discuss, have discourse over, and uh, just general fun and antics. But let's get antics. into it. Antics. <laughs> antics uh yeah let's go ahead and right into our patch notes section um what we got going on next friday mark your calendars october 22nd 9 a.m eastern time we have a very special episode of the show and you may be asking why 9 a.m eastern time well here's why because. Time zones, <laughs> because time zones. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to stream it yet. We may just uh, end up recording it and uploading it to YouTube because it's not our normal stream time. Not anybody on a Friday during the day that we normally uh, have in our chat and stuff is going to be able to make it. So we may just record it and upload it to YouTube for everybody to uh, to enjoy there. Um, we are going to have a very special guest, Pontus Mahler, from a former esports pro and now the uh, director at Global Top Round joining us. Uh, Global Top Round is a organization that I believe helps find indie devs and indie studios uh, seat funding and just educates them on how to do the things they need to do, which is pretty cool. We'll talk all about that on that show. Um, looking really forward to it. That's all for the Bachelors, guys. That's the biggest news we've had for, for a long time, and that's that's what we're rolling with. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, there you go. That's it in a nutshell. And uh, so, yeah, what we're going to roll to right now is just what we've been playing, watching, listening to audiobooks, shows, music, gaming, of course. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Nick, what have you been playing, man? Uh, I actually got to play a uh, little bit of Final Fantasy fourteen. It's not a new title or anything, um, but I finally got to get back in there a little bit and uh it was really fun. It was it was all right. Ran around with a couple of the people in my guild and was doing some of the uh, bigger kind of main story quests right now and, and trying to get caught up. Okay. I haven't played in a couple months, so it's pretty cool. Uh, what else? I played another one. It wasn't Hades. It was another indie, and I can't remember the name, but it was fun. <laughs> I know okay. that that's real descriptive. <laughs> uh, was I got it? to play a little bit of uh, Wildlands. I haven't played okay. anything new in the past little bit. I know that uh, Subnautica um, Below Zero has finally hit Game Pass, and I'm really going to try to make some time for that mm -hmm. either tomorrow or today. Okay. But I want to play that, like, so bad. I love Subnautica, so. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. You've talked about it multiple times. I've never played it. I, I, full, full stop, I've never played it. So You need it. You need it in your life. Need my life. Nothing yeah. like nothing like the first time you run into one of the Leviathans. Oh my god! Especially with headphones on, like that's oh like god. I might piss myself <laughs> kind of scary. <laughs> well, it is October, so yeah. you might as well get spooked <laughs> out. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man! Yeah, man. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Anything else? You've been watching anything? You've been in a um. No, I, I started a new job, so I it's literally been sucking up all of my time doing that. And then uh, when I'm not there, I've been trying to get healthier and, and trying to lose some yeah. of uh, lose some weight. So 
I've been in the gym. So if I'm not at the gym, I'm not in at my job. I'm in the kitchen cooking and then sleeping. <laughs> so you got to be like that very, sometimes, man. Yeah, it hasn't been fun, fun for the past like yeah few weeks. So yeah, but we're getting there where it's kind of like starting to heat the even time where I can start playing fucking around again. So I'm excited. Nice, good, good man. Well, I've been doing a lot. I'm excited to hear about it. So, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, I watched Squid Game on Netflix, watched all of that. I, did you Did you enjoy it? I, I was in the middle of, like, episode one while I was cooking dinner. I was like, I don't know if this is for me. Um, I know. You need, you need, yeah, you wa- continue you watching, going? man. You gotta keep going, bro. It's, it's I good. really it's hated good. the main character. Like, I hated him. I well, like, yeah, yeah, you will. Oh, the, the, yeah, he is. He, he's, he's a complete yeah. tool. Um, okay. There's an even more, there, there, but if you keep watching, there's going to be another character. You're probably going to just hate even more. Really? So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll just, we'll, we'll I don't come know back if that's a good selling point. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but, but, okay, but the show's okay. good. The show's good. Um, okay. I started, I started What If on Disney Plus. That's the animated oh, that's Marvel the series. stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've only watched one episode, so, and it was good. It was good. So, um, I think they're like 30, 40 minutes long ish so nice pretty good uh but games oh god so apex of course it's in normal rotation but you did some inception shit level some inception level shit to me last time because you brought up like hey what happened with elysium why are you flavoring elysium so i dove back into that nice yes and um it's still dude it's still such a gorgeous game dude oh my god Anytime like, I caught you streaming it, man, I was always impressed with like the different mechanics and shit that they had going yeah, on. Yeah, it's that just was pretty cool. It's it's so good, man. Like, and people will hop in chat. I've streamed it a couple times. People will hop in chat, and be like, "What's with all these bots?" There's bots. I was like, "The dude that just killed me was not a flipping bot." Are there bots in the game? <laughs> yes, there's some bots in Warzone too at times. You know, there. <laughs> whatever. That was some gangster level shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, there are some bots in the game. Whatever. I enjoy playing right. it, so kick rocks. Um. <laughs> but it is a fun game. It looks great. The gun handling is great. The other mechanics are, are awesome. So it is what it is. Um, also played Splitgate. It's another one that's kind of been in my normal rotation, which is a lot of fun. Um, I dove into some of the Steam Next Fest games. Because there were literally some hundreds. Of that, yeah, I saw some of that in the Discord, man. Yeah. Uh, literally hundreds of upon hundreds of demos available on steam next fest a lot for indie titles and stuff like that the one that stood out that i enjoyed the most this is no, it's not not sponsor it's a game called exo <laughs> it's it's a game called exo one okay and it is a exploration space exploration type game with these different planets and you have different mechanics yes you would like it there is no as far as i can tell there is no like like currency system, like no man's sky or anything like that. Like you are legit Ooh. like this, almost like mm, vessel, but you're kind of like a ball that turns okay. into a dit that tur- that can shift and in- shape shift into a disc depending on the gravity. So it, it, it's, I don't okay. know how to do it. It's, I don't know how to explain XO. it, man. XO, EXO one. Okay. Um, I, I I'm Ooh. doing a terrible job describing this game. I really am. Um, but the environments are awesome. So they preface this game like you have this gra- like the, these engineers talk about this gravity drive. These astronauts or people got lost in space or they lost communication with them. So you're on this mission to go find them. And you're in this vessel. You, you're as far as I can tell, the protagonist. You you have no face. You have no person. You're literally just third person view of this ship that you are controlling through these environments and unlocking different oh. things on the way. Don't sound like, okay, but just play it. The, the sound, the, uh, the sound stage is really good on it. So like the audio, awesome. The visuals are great. Okay. Just, it, I don't know, man, I'm probably going to buy it, when but it it's affected out. by gravity. That's pretty dope. All right. Yeah. I like so, that concept. so I was playing with, I was played, I played on controller. So right. You're this ball, right? And you're just kind of mm-hmm. zooming along the terrain of this of this um, planet, and if you hit one of the triggers, it will 
uh, increase gravity by 10%. So it'll like shoot you really fast across the terrain. And if okay. you let, if you let go of it and go up like a hill or something, it launches you. Cause you've now released okay. that, that, that gravity, that gravity. Yep. And then you could turn yourself while you're up in the air into a disc and then like glide around. Glide. That seems like you could do some pretty cool shit with that. Dude, it was dude. That sounds then, like a cool concept. Yeah. And then in the environment, there's like these huge, like monoliths. I have no idea what they are, but you like fly all the way to the top of them, fly around. It's so good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, XO one. Yeah, that's that great game. Um, played blood hunt a little bit more. You know, it's, it's another BR vampires. Yeah. Cool. Um, yep, yep. But yeah, that's that's kind of it. You know, a couple other Next Fest games I'd played in there, not worth mentioning because eh, didn't nothing really. <laughs> well, there's gonna be good ones, man. But with yeah, that much yeah. selection, there's exactly. gonna be some meh. Yeah, and well, I'm getting ready to hopefully hop into Back for Blood. Okay. The Left for Dead. Yep. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. So it looks so good, I can taste it. Dude, like I, I played the play I played the beta when they had the open beta stuff. So it was fantastic. I haven't installed, haven't fired up yet though. So I got to do that. Xbox Game Pass Ooh. day and day exclusive. Um, yeah, it's there. Ooh, okay. it's there, and it's cross play. Oh shit! Okay, I'm so have to play. if you're if you're on Xbox, we can we can we can link up, brother. Yeah, I might have to play that. I might have to get get busy on that because <laughs> that was a lot of fun. So that's uh, that's what I've been been doing. Late entry. I kind of forgot to mention this one. Wu Tang Clan is back uh, for season two, and I'm getting ready to like binge the shit out of that too. So, okay, I really enjoyed season one. Okay, that's what's because up because Wu Tang. That's why because <laughs> Wu Tang. Of course, why yeah. not? That's awesome, man. Well, hell yeah, dude. That's that's all good stuff. Uh, yeah, we're gonna roll on into the news. That's what we're doing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we're streaming on Twitch, and Twitch has been hacked. This is a little old, probably about a <gasps> week ago. Yes, Twitch no. is re- Yes, Twitch was hacked. Um, its source code uh, was leaked and in the wild. Uh, this comes to us from Kotaku. Uh, but basically, you probably already all heard this, and nothing new here. Uh, it got uh, yeah, it got hacked, and all the source code and stuff was leaked, along with other earnings of like the top. However many thousand streamers are on there. Um, Yes, so here's what was leaked in that. The entirety of Twitch.tv with commit history going back to its early beginnings. Mobile, desktop, and video game console Twitch clients. Various proprietary software development kits and internal AWS services used by Twitch. Every other property that Twitch owns, including IGDB and CurseForge. An unreleased Steam competitor from Amazon Game Studios. Twitch SoC internal red teaming tools. Uh, mm. so yeah, somebody lost her job. Like just, oops. I... <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. That's this crazy. comes, you know, this comes on the heels of, of Twitch. Not really, you know, do anything about all the hate rating that was going on. Um, yep. that was a thing that happened and this now just doesn't help things. You know, no, it doesn't. But one of the, you talked about like the the leaked financials, and that's one of those that it's like I don't want to look. Like it just yeah. it bummed me out. <laughs> yeah, there's it a lot. There's <laughs> put it put, put it this okay. way. There's some, there's some people making like almost seven almost seven figures a month. I think the top burner was around like seven hundred k a month, something like that. That's awesome, but like. What 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 would be your motivation to keep going at that point? And that's like a real like a real question. Like that's you made it made it. Like are you doing it because you love it, or are you doing it because your hobbies and shit like exceed what you're actually making at that point? And which would be insane to me. Like, do you collect yachts? Like, what keeps you showing up? It's like after a couple of months that you'd be like, you know what? If I invest this right. I'm good for life. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm going to do shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's a partner agreement, you know, contracts keeping them there. You know, I, I don't know. That's probably. Crazy. It's probably part of it. But that's. <sighs> yeah, man. It's. It's <laughs> fuck you money is what that is. That, like, it just yeah, blows me away. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, 
it's oh my god it, yeah it's just not good it's just not good so of course they send everything out like hey your stream keys have been reset change your password at 2fa you know the, the normal stuff that happens with any breach yep. um but it just you know response. yeah yeah exactly there's not much that they can really do at this point that what's done is done it's out in the wild mm-hmm. so i don't know what what really they can do you know, I know. Like, it seems like pa- your options Pan- are pretty limited at that point. The, yeah, they they op- the Pandora's box has been opened. There ain't no shutting it. Like, yep. So crazy. Yeah, and th- maybe you know, and then you see all these big streamers moving over to YouTube now. I maybe maybe they knew something. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's where we're going yeah. next. We're going to YouTube next. Shit! I hit the gravy train. Basically. Um, that could fun be. fact, we're already Sorry. on YouTube. Hit us up. YouTube.com slash first takes game. We're already there too. Damn. We're just not streaming there, but the VODs <laughs> are there. Just remember that. That's so right. moving along, moving along. Um, another problematic company, Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're going Blizzard or Bethesda. Which way are we rolling? Which way are we go? Which way are we going? Uh, Activision, Blizz- we, we mix it up a little bit. Uh, uh, Big God. three. Big three. <laughs> Uh, Blizzard continues to call suggestive content for World of Warcraft. This comes to us from Polygon.com. Blizzard is continuing to update World of Warcraft in the lead-up to patch 9.1.5. While some of these changes are gameplay-related, others have to do with removing suggestive or inappropriate content from the game. On August 27th, Blizzard posted a statement on social media about upcoming changes to the game. This included updates to improve the game environment for our community including additional changes to some content to better reflect our shared values. Okay. All of this is like in, in serious, um, they're trying to like save some face and they, they ended up losing a lot of their audience. They went to final fantasy 14, ironically enough, a uh, huge did. portion of the, the wow community went over there. Like, I think the server that I'm on Genova is almost full at this point, And that's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's crazy, but I, I'm willing to bet that that hurt. Yeah. As far as restrictions oh, sure. went. For sure. And so what they're removing, they're removing certain lines like, quote, when enraged and in heat, a female troll can mate over 80 times in one night. Be you prepared. And another line, such as, mm, I want to tap that ley line. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what else is there? Uh, so... There's certain bosses, bosses like the Twin Consorts in the Throne of Thunder have been renamed the Twin Empyreans, and the Big Love Rocket Mount is now the X-45 Heartbreaker. Concubines and Hostesses in the uh, Karazhan and Black Temple Raids now have male equivalents that spawn in the zone. My bad. <laughs> so, that's that's insane. It's just, I mean, so so they're, they're you know, uh, removing... Uh, suggestive, you know, voice lines and names within the game. Um, to better reflect that's the crazy. Stuff, I, 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 yeah, I just think that that's bullshit. You know what I mean? Yes, I think that I agree. Like, it, I hundred percent agree with you. They're pandering. They're pandering. But at the same time, if that's if that's what's bothering you about the game, you really don't give a shit about the game, anyways, right? I mean, so there's. I don't know. That's just nitpicky to me. Like, I don't give a shit yeah. if there's consorts in there. I don't give a shit if they're male or female. I don't care. Exactly. Like, who exactly. cares? Who cares? Why do you got to change the name? That's dumb. It, it, right? Or it take, <laughs> you take it off the lines. Like, I'm like, here's the thing. Yeah. You're, you're playing a... You're playing a fantasy game. Mm-hmm. Right? The more you want to inject or remove things because of political correct, I'm not trying to get political on here. We said all the time we keep trying to keep politics yep. out of this, but this that's basically what this move is: is like trying to be more PC and this that or whatever. Like the more you do that to your your game, the more that reflects real life and is not no longer an escape or a fantasy for its players. Right. It's just I like think why, that, why that am line I about pay the fit? troll is funny. Like yeah, I instantly was like, could I? do that 80 times yeah i mean i, I need know. a lot of ice man I yeah. need a lot of ice a lot, a lot of a lot of recovery magic bro a lot sure of getting them. in those upper 50s it'd be yeah. rough <laughs> <laughs> so 
uh, eat some yak's milk or something to rejuvenate. No shit, <laughs> something. Oh god. I need to get um, a white mage in here and fucking yeah. heal me up, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so that, and that's all it is, man. It's just like I'm not gonna pay fifteen dollars a month for a game that is just becoming what I can experience when I walk out the front door for the most part. Right. You know, like if if, gaming. That, that, gaming mm. is an escape for so many people. Mm-hmm. From from their 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 humdrum, you know, nine to five or whatever, like that. This is their escape, and they're just gonna try to shove. Especially with something more... like an MMO, where that yes. you're creating a complete alter ego. I mean, like somebody exactly. that might be like very by the books. They only play evil characters. You know what I mean? That yeah. that you're really messing with them. Yeah. Um, and they're off hours, and yeah, that's just it's just bullshit. Like if that yeah. bothers you then don't play the fucking game. Like, why fuck it up for everybody else? <laughs> don't get it. Never will. Either, man. Nope. <laughs> so, um, speaking of Blizzard, still, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Diablo 4 has a new director. Yeah. Um, so this comes to us from IGN. Uh, so amidst the ongoing sexual, you know, allegations of harassment, and mistreatment, and marginalized workers, da 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 da, uh, John uh, Joe Shelley, who has worked on World of Warcraft and Diablo Three, has taken over as director of Diablo Four. In today's Diablo Four quarterly update, I think it's Shelley, Shelley, maybe I don't know, said he is honored to continue the vision of the next Diablo as its director. The previous director, Louis Bar- Louis Barriga, was let go from Activision Blizzard in August amid allegations of harassment and abuse within Blizzard. Maria had been with Blizzard since 2006 and was let go alongside level designer Jesse McCree and wild designer Jonathan LaCraft. In today's post, Shaley briefly addressed the ongoing allegations. Quote, Like many of you, our team has been reflecting upon recent events. A lot has happened since our last blog and the hard work of practicing the values we aspire to must continue. In parallel with that important work, development of Diablo 4 continues too. Yo yo yo. Yeah, I didn't didn't condone or bastardize what why they were let go or anything like that, but didn't really speak to it either. Just Yeah, it was a thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean the, the dude the dude has been there since 2006, so that's That's nuts. 15, 15 years he's been there and was let go and he was the so far the director of Diablo 4 and now they're switching to another director who worked on Diablo 3. Um so, but he's now taking the place of that dude for Diablo 4, which will probably push the game back even more. Uh, that's what I don't I'm know. Mean. If I that's get another assumption. trailer like the first one, I, I might be okay with it because that was pretty good. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong. I'm hyped for Diablo 4. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm it, really, if they can push it back as much as they want, just, yeah, as just long as make it good. Good. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's all I ask for just, anywhere. Any, any fucking game, it. just release it when it's ready. I'll yeah. play it. <laughs> so rounding out this Activision Blizzard rock block. <laughs> we, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> we have another one. But Activision <sighs> Blizzard, I feel like the last three, like this episode, the last two episodes have been about Activision Blizzard, man. Just more and more stuff it, it is has, coming out. Yeah, it, it keeps happening. Once you I once mean, you open the dam, dude, the water just starts right, going. I mean, it's true, man. I don't Floodgate's make the headlines. Happening. We don't make the headlines. We're just reporting on them, all right? <laughs> Yeah, it's not like I'm picking on him. I've got a heart on for him. No, no, not really. Not Battlefront. Uh, No, definitely. (laughs) Jesus. Jesus. Oh, God. Uh, Okay. No, you're good. You're good, bro. Um, So this comes to us from PC Gamer. Activision Blizzard lawsuits in chaos as federal agency accuses California's DFEH of ethics violations. Oh, man. Okay. There's a lot going on there. Okay. Let's see. Activision Blizzard is currently facing a lawsuit in the state of California. Yep. Brought to the, brought by the Department for Employment and Housing. The suit alleges that Activision Blizzard is a company rife with discrimination, sexual harassment, and a frat boy culture. Okay. We know, we, we've know we've yeah, we, we've talked about there. that. Yep. Well, just recently, we discovered Activision Blizzard had also been in talks about a separate lawsuit being brought by the Equal Opportun- Equal Employment Opportunity Commission that had agreed for settle for $18 million. Yep, we reported on that. Um, mm-hmm. 
The DFEH, though, reported uh, last week filed an objection to this to that settlement for 18 million, arguing that it would lead to the effective destruction of evidence critical to its case and cause irreparable harm to its own lawsuit. One important oh, fact: the DFEH is a State Department of California, whereas the EEOC is a federal agency. Here's here's mm-hmm. the DFEH's objection. Oh, end quote. The proposed consent decree also contains provisions sanctioning the effective destruction and or tampering of evidence critical to the DFEH's case, such as personnel files and other documents referencing sexual harassment, retaliation, and discrimination, end quote. So the DFEH is basically saying that information potentially relevant to its own case that would be sealed from the conditions of the $18 million settlement with the EEOC. Mm Mm-hmm. Once that's not the time to make a fuller case about <laughs> oh my God. like how bad does it gotta hurt? Dude, all I'm seeing right now, bro, is like like you know the Spider-Man meme where they're like pointing at each other? Well, there's yep. like a third Spider-Man in Ow. that. They're all like pointing to each other. <laughs> it's like Activision Blizzard, DFEH, EEOC, and they're just like Oh, that's gonna be horrid. Oh my gosh! But I'm, I'm you're, we're sitting there talking about it. We're talking about the numbers that are associated with these cases, and, and you know, I really do feel bad for everybody that's involved in it. And you know, if you yeah. were on the receiving end of that, it's awful. Um, but kind of on a lighter note, just looking from the outside in on, on those dollar amounts, like it's gonna get to the point where like a game from this is gonna be like eight hundred dollars in order to try to combat the losses that they're fucking experiencing. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. It's absolutely think, crazy. I think it's bonkers that they're still able to keep running at this point. Jesus. Yep. So it, it, the article goes on and on and on. There's even more stuff with it. I'm just like that. That's the gist of it though. So like you have a state agency basically trying to halt the federal agency from settling on the 18 million lawsuit so they can keep the evidence pertinent to their own case against them at a state level in check. Lord, ouch! That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. This, it's like some Game of Thrones shit going on. Bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit, right? <laughs> oh god! <clears throat> Somebody find Jon Snow, right? Golly. Uh, so also, go moving on. <laughs> EA, we're going on to EA now. Moving on to EA, you know. Mm. Uh, this comes to us from Dexerto dot com. Uh, Apex Legends players plan boycott against Halloween event for health update. So basically what's going on here is there's going to be a new uh, LTM limited time mode in Apex uh, around Halloween. It's called Monsters Within. There's different skins, different this, different that. They've revamped the way to earn those skins during the event and the currencies with that. There's some there's a separate conversation about that, though, happening, how some people are okay with it, some people aren't. Um, but more or less... The players are calling for a boycott for playing this mode because of the unstable, ser- unstable servers, which has been an ongoing thing. The servers for Apex have been kind of rot with issues. <laughs> um, rot with issues. Rot with issues. And yeah, I, I kind of get what they're you know their point here. It's like, yeah, you can lease all these skins, these limited time events, and all this stuff. How about you like? Funnel Stabilize that cash flow into stabilizing your service for the actual game. The core, the core of your game. Just saying. Just that's saying. A forever thing, not a limited time event. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I, that's. I mean, I don't. I don't blame them. I see. Yeah, point. I can't. I can't argue that. That's that's yeah. a valid, valid statement. Yeah. So. Uh. Yeah. And then we'll see what happens. We'll see if they. Uh, yeah, so this actually came from uh, a post on Reddit. So let's, this is on the Apex Legends subreddit. Okay, this is a very long section. I'm going to quote from one of the users of the subreddit. This isn't from uh, EA or Respawn. This is just a user in the subreddit, Apex Legends. Please, please, please don't spend any money on the Halloween event. Buy skins with crafting materials, legend tokens, or leftover Apex coins. But I'm begging you, don't spend any money. That's all that EA cares about. They could care less about the server issues and bugs as long as they make money. There is no heirloom, and so 
<clears throat> and so you can get all items from the event once it is over if you can't craft the ones you want. You aren't missing out on anything if you aren't spending money for a week or two. It won't hurt you, but missing out on two weeks of revenue might be enough for EA slash Respawn to finally do something. It's been weeks of crashes, errors, and terrible servers all around, and they haven't even told us they're working on it. The patch that was supposed to fix stuff? Well, that just broke more things and made it worse. Hell, the 9100% GPU usage issue still hasn't been fixed or acknowledged. A operation health is most likely never going to happen, so please stop spending money on the game for a while until they at least acknowledge the problems and tell us they're working on it. We all love the game, but right now it's nearly unplayable for many, so please don't spend any money. Seems like a very honest and well thought out kind of <laughs> constructive. Which is this is this is the type of posts about issues and problems I like to see on the internet. They weren't cussing people out, they weren't calling mm -hmm. names, dropping names, trying to dox anybody that works there. Yep. Nothing. It was just like, this is the problem. It's been going on for a while. They haven't acknowledged it. Don't spend any money until they acknowledge it. Yep. I'm putting this is this is well how done. we can we can try to we can try to combat it. Legit mm -hmm. golf club. Yeah, golf club. <laughs> well done, sir. Yes. Or madam. Well done, sir. And, and I know you don't play Apex. Not your thing. But you know what you do play? A lot of other games. Halo. I do. This comes from some comicbook.com. There is some trouble in the Halo verse. I got some trouble with Halo verse right now. Go ahead. <laughs> well, you may even have more trouble in the Halo verse after this. <laughs> the Halo Infinite season pass has leaked. And players are div divided about it. So, what this boils down to basically is... They're releasing a battle pass for Halo Infinite. Like every other battle royale. Every other game out there. battle royale. Yep. Um, you know, they're just following suit with like Fortnite, Apex, Warzone, all that stuff. Yep. Um, the leak was shared over on Reddit, of course, because that's the new internet. That's where everything happens. Um, <laughs> and, and 4chan apparently, but I, if you I don't, dare not don't touch go that, 4chan. no, don't go there. <laughs> um, that's so how you get it, computer aids like legit. That's, that's legit. <laughs> not good. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Uh, fans are not only divided about the existence of a battle pass and how inferior the free version is, but the content of the premium version, some aren't impressed with quote. I know the game. It's free to play, but the battle pass seems like character customization behind a paywall. I don't know if this fits the game. Writes one, that's nice. one Reddit user's take. Another quote: "I have no problem with the game having a battle pass in it, and it's cool that I can be one time. It could be a one-time purchase. But couldn't they think about more interesting things to put in it? Um, apparently, cool. there's a lack of content with the battle pass that they are releasing. Uh, is the gist of that." So, like, you can't do character customization until you buy a battle pass? Like, that's pretty fucked up. That, that's not good. So, maybe they will... How do you feel? I know you don't play BRs, but how, how do you feel about battle passes and games in general? I'm... I'm torn. It's a free game. It's a free mode yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's a free so. game. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's one of those where you can... I like that I had the option to play it without it, right? Like, it is yes. there. I can't do it without it. Yep. I can also cough up the money and do it that way too, right? Too easy. Mm -hmm. Totally get it. Appreciate that. Um, the stuff that I... Like, I have issue with putting any of that shit behind any sort of wall. So the one that I'm dealing with right now, like, I finally have been waiting. They released Season 8 for uh, Master Chief Collection right now. Mm -hmm. Season 8 has a whole bunch of new skins and stuff like that. Um that you can you can get by completing daily challenges in order to unlock different kind of uh, tokens or whatever you want to call it, and then you can use those to purchase those. Uh, the thing is that you have to purchase those in succession. You can't like just pick the exact one you want. Like the one that I want is on the eighth tier, so I had to buy everything through one through all the way up there mm -hmm. to do it, and that pisses me off. Yeah, because I don't want all the other shit. I just yeah. want the shit that's on the eighth tier. So what do I? What I won't play the game. Fuck it. Like I yeah. don't want to play it then. I understand. It, that. There's no incentive for me to to do that. Um, so I, I find that frustrating. It's like it's yeah. like a a way to try to blackmail me into playing the game. Sure. You know what I mean. Sure. And that's not yeah. cool. 
I don't, yeah. I don't appreciate that at all. So, yeah. uh, but I've seen that kind of shit on other games too. And, and I would almost prefer to just be able to pay to get what I want. So I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of either or. True. No, I, I, I hear you, man. I hear you. And one thing about the battle pass is that is I'm not going to say it's nice, but it's there. It exists. So you buy the battle pass once, right? Mm-hmm. If you if you play the name the game enough because you get a boost to your in game currency or whatever like that, most of them have a mechanic where once you buy it once and you play the game enough after you buy it, you'll have mm-hmm. you'll generate enough currency to pay for it again without having to spend actual money. You'll just spend the in game currency. Yeah, that's the way playing. Fortnite does it, right? Right, right. With so, um, V bucks or whatever. Right. So, I mean that that's okay. I mean for free game, I'm okay with that. Whatever. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah. Once so, again, there it is. It's a free game, so like, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Um. You know what's great about free games, though, and this is a this is a late entry. It's not. Mm. It wasn't in the show notes yet. Late entry. Oh no. What's, okay. What's, what's What's great about free games is uh they get hacked all the time. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, okay. I don't I don't have a source for this. I've seen it all over the internet. It's it's out there, so we can just search it. So you know, uh, Call of Duty Warzone has been hacked, rot. You know, just totally cheaters all over the place. Whether it's uh-huh. aimbots, whether it's wall hacks, mm-hmm. whether it's whatever lag switch, whatever they're doing. Okay, so Call of Duty Warzone has put out things like, "Hey, we're launching an, an anti cheat." A new anti cheat. Like, why is why should this be good big news for your game? Is like, yeah, you know right? Like, like, like first of all, like why? Is, this is a great selling point. We have anti cheat, <laughs> um, and it's, it apparently installs that at the kernel level, uh, which is similar to what Valorant does. And there was a lot of people up in arms about that. You know, something being at the kernel level on on your computer, whatever. Fine, it it's fine, um, but. A day, I don't even know if it was a full day later. Oh, God. The the anti-cheat got leaked. It is already hacks for, <laughs> for it. <laughs> Just, oh. it's, already, it's already done, man. It's already done. It's crazy, bro. Damn. So, um. The, gamers, <sighs> man. Gamers are fucking ruthless. Like, dude. It- they are so they are a they lot of are people just, talk shit on nerds but man like don't fuck with them because they will fuck your computer up they'll fuck yeah. up whatever system you got going on like just leave them alone just, just leave them alone. alone just leave them alone so that's uh that's 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 that so not even a day it got leaked or something you cracked whatever so now all these anti-cheat you know bot sites whatever that you can buy these aim bots from or these cheats or hacks from are like yep okay we're good <laughs> refresh Crazy. Hey, hey guys, you want the latest and greatest for Warzone? You the, well, totally your, get around old, all that shit. your old stuff doesn't work anymore, so now you can give us another hundred dollars for the new. <laughs> what a business model, man. What a business model, right? bro. That's that's pretty good. Capitalism. That's so that's that. That's all the news we have for this week. Um if you have comments or hit us up in chat, if you are watching the VOD, leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought, what you think of stuff, your fresh take. Post your fresh Ooh. take on any of this stuff. Ooh. That's what we're about. So now, dun, 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 dun. dun, dun. We're moving on to unpopular opinion. Uh-oh. This is a segment of our show where one of us brings forth an unpopular opinion. This could be about gaming, food, life, anything. And we discuss it. <laughs> Agree, disagree, talking points, etc. This evening I have one, and oh boy, I'm so pumped! It could. I never some got feathers. added, by the way. I didn't. I didn't get too much hate on that last one. So. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. I, that's I, good. I, I fucking miracle, in my opinion. But yeah. that's all right. Well, I'm getting I'm getting text messages sent to me from the the episode we ha- I had with Chris about the chicken wings stuff. About the chicken wings. Yeah, I have. I got. To, I get. I get messages like thinking of you, homie. And it's a picture of chicken wings. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is where we're at. It's this jet, is where we're man. at now. Okay, yeah, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, this is happening. Hold on, let me see if I can pull this up real quick, guys. I don't know if you can see this. 
Hold on. Let me see if I can find this. Did, uh, uh, did anybody talk about the Daytona wings at uh, Hooters? I, I'm not a fan no. of Hooters. I yeah. got dragged there a bunch. I found one thing on the menu that didn't suck, and it was the Daytona wings. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you can see it. This is a thing of wings right there. Nice. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. This is, that's what, thinking of you, bud. And that's, that's what I get. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, good stuff. Okay, so in popular opinion, again, this is about Twitch. It's for streaming. <laughs> it's happening, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the follow button. Follow us for uh, you know, more of this stuff. Uh, that, that's <laughs> why we're leaning in. Okay. Yeah, two old men talking about games. <laughs> it's exclusive content, guys. All right, just can't get anywhere else. Exclusive, exclusive. All right, so a couple weeks ago, there was this new feature that Twitch was announced that they're testing, and people are calling it pay to win. So it's called Boost. Twitch has a new Boost feature, right? People are like, oh, this is terrible. It's pay to win, blah, 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 blah. So this comes to us from Ginks.tv, a new entry to the show, Ginks.tv. But all these places report on it. So... Twitch will be experimenting with a new boost feature that will allow viewers to use their credit card to pay to have streamers recommended or advertised to other viewers on the platform. This comes as an additional option to the boost this stream feature released last year that allows viewers to boost streamers with earned channel points. So ascent. Oh my gosh. Why is this video? Oh God. Your website jinx TV is kind of the worst right now. Okay. Can't close the freaking video pop up they have. The worst. By design, baby. By design. So, <laughs> the new pay to win feature, quote, pay to win feature was subsequently lambasted by members of the Twitch community who believe that this is a bad idea, since the feature will only serve to benefit notable streamers while drowning out smaller streaming channels. Twitch Boost feature allows viewers to pay to advertise streamers. The latest planned addition to Boost feature, uh, feature attracted mass. Dis- Dissatisfaction after it was leaked on the 30th of September with many Twitch fee- users feeling though the move is simply an attempt by Amazon to rake in more money. Um, okay, so basically what happens is your viewers can pay cash to boost your stream to get you on the recommended whatever front page yep. of Twitch, okay? Mm-hmm. Basically to advertise you. Yep. Okay? Here's the unpopular opinion. Oh, fuck, I'm so ready. This is fine. Oh, there it is. I knew, is I knew it was probably going to get it this way. This is fine. Okay. Here's why it's fine. If you are trying, if you are a full-time streamer, that is your thing, and you're trying to make this a job and earn income and do all this stuff, guess what you are? You're a business. Mm-hmm. You're a content creator. You are a business. Why do you feel Twitch owes you free advertisement? Oh, shit. There it is. Or if you go to a marketing, if you want to go put an ad in newspaper or a SEO person online to boost, to boost your visibility, boost. they ain't doing that shit for free. The handouts got to stop, folks. They got to stop. The expectation of handouts Ooh. and free stuff got to stop. You got to put in the work. Shit is just not going to come to you. It's just not. So <laughs> Twitch adding this, you should be thanking Twitch for giving your viewers of your stream, if they're 10, 15 people in your stream, the opportunity, if they like your content, to put you on the front page to help grow you. Fucking A. That, that's an opportunity. Twitch is giving you an opportunity. It should not be free. This platform, you, you get to stream on this platform for free. You pay nothing to stream on Worldwide. this platform. Worldwide. Worldwide. Okay. You pay nothing to stream on this platform. What? Mm. And you want them to now give you free advertisement. Mm. Why? What? What? Like, <laughs> I don't get the mindset behind that, man. I don't. I, you know, I mean, it's an unpopular I opinion, wish I, I guess. I could argue with you. Yeah, no, I wish <laughs> I could argue with you. I'd <laughs> like, be like, the fuck, man? Why are you like, no, but I don't. I, I don't have anything to argue against that because legit, that's like true. I might not be a fan of how Twitch does business or um, the fact that anytime I open it up, it looks like I'm trying to look at. Um, sure. 
yeah. <laughs> fucking Pornhub or whatever. Right. Like, I don't, I don't get it. But at the same time, like, it really is a free platform that I can choose to utilize right. to stream all the way around the world. Right. For free. That's pretty right. fucking awesome. So, uh, and if you're doing good enough and people have the opportunity to like support you and do what you're doing, it's right. like a small investment group. And that's really what it is. Your viewers are like a small investment group. They're, they're yeah. invested in what you're doing. Exactly. Whether, and, and they're expecting to be entertained as a result of that. And if they like choose to, to do that and take that step beyond and become a part of, and they really are because the people in your chat are going to make you make other viewers either stay or go outside mm -hmm. of the person that's streaming, you yeah. know? So they really are invested in you. So that's, I don't know. That's legit. Okay. I I, I know I when, I, when I post this clip, when I clip this and mm -hmm. post it on other platforms, mm -hmm. yeah. oh, I'm, it's going to rain it's gonna be a lot of pain, it's gonna be yep. so I'm, I'm i'm expecting there to be a lot of people that are gonna gonna hate this and it's um, okay just know that, that i'm hugging okay. you i'm virtually okay. hugging I, you i appreciate the that. whole time we're gonna be okay like fuck we're em. gonna be okay like, whatever we're gonna be okay and, yep. and that's the whole thing was called unpopular opinion because it's an unpopular opinion i mean yep. if everybody's reporting like oh everybody was dissatisfied the community didn't like this this blah 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 blah, blah. You, yep. again cookie cutter shit yeah like with Chubby Chow, if you want to get some online ads and, and stuff on on you know pay mm -hmm. for ad space like Facebook doesn't give you free advertisement. Fuck no, it doesn't. You That's you got to pay for that, that stuff. Twitter, you got to boost your post on Twitter if you want advertisement. And yep. Etsy, if you have an Etsy store, you got to pay for ads on Etsy for them to help yep. boost your stuff. Why do you think advertising should be free? I don't I don't get it. Yep. So on a platform that you already get to use. 100% free of charge. Yeah. And that's coupled with things that everything that you just mentioned, Twitter, Snap, Snapchat, um, like all that shit. Snapchat. Did I say Snapchat? You I said, did. I don't know. Who, huh? Yeah, fuck. I don't know what the fuck I was smoking. But <laughs> um, <laughs> you have all these different means in order to, uh, to pr promote essentially your business for free. So it really, if you're bitching that you're not getting seen, then are you putting in the work on those other platforms in order to draw in an audience? Right. Like, just like you said, with Chubby Chow, I haven't been putting any money in that right now or anything because I can't focus on it right now because I'm sure. doing other shit. So yeah. I don't want a lot of people looking at it. So I don't. <laughs> right. But you know, what's crazy when I do my customers, you know, like they, they get notified and they notify people and then it ends up bringing in more people and I end up making more sales. Yep. So crazy. It's crazy how that works. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. So yeah. So Welcome. that's, and there it is. And unpopular opinion. That was it. That's it guys. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got. That's the show. I mean, we're at 55 minutes, Boom. something like that. We're good. We're good, baby. So yeah. thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you for listening. Thank you for just being here. Nick, let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, at the DS Claw on Twitter is kind of what I'm checking out right now. Got some stuff on Facebook and things like that, but I'm not as, um, I don't know, involved there right now. My focus is elsewhere. <laughs> okay that's fair but at that's the fair. ds claw on twitter so check me out okay and if y'all want to throw hate my way at bub drum <laughs> on twitter at bub drum on tiktok at bub drum 81 on instagram <laughs> which i don't Throwing use those digital hands <laughs> i don't really use that so um that's me and my personal account if you want to follow the podcast know what we're doing it's at fresh takes pod on twitter at Fresh Takes Gaming on TikTok, at Fresh Takes Gaming on Instagram, at Fresh Takes Gaming on YouTube, at Fresh Takes Gaming on Twitch. We're worldwide, baby. Bitch. <laughs> Facts. So, thanks again. As always, the best game is the game you like to play and how you like to play it. We'll see you next time, y'all. Peace out. Peace.